Hey guys, Enredo Rose here with another speed draw slash vlog. This is kind of a short one today. For the speed draw, I'm doing the second installment of my Fruit Girl series, Apple. Pear was the first in this installment, and you can find both her and Apple on my Patreon. But anyway, today's story time is about the time my backpack almost got stolen. Well, kind of. So let me tell you, this is my favorite backpack. It's green and black and it's got aliens all over it and it's super cool. I have sewn patches on it and take it everywhere. It's dirty with pastels and charcoal and stuff because it's my art school backpack. I love it. So one day, one long mentally exhausting day, and I will save the rest of this day's story for a longer video because it is a doozy to me. At least it is. <laughs> anyway, so this was like a few semesters ago, and this is a weird freshman seminar class, and it's super strange and kind of just a bunch of BS. Needless to say, I didn't like the class or the teacher. But for this assignment, we had to take the bus around the city, and needed to stop at every stop and take pictures and journal and whatnot. So there's this one stop where I want to take what I consider to be an interesting shot from the ground of the scenery. So I tell my friend, let's call him Joe, to watch my bag. He says, okay, and I take a couple of shots before the train arrives and we get on. However, I notice that as we're getting on the train, my bag is nowhere to be seen. I asked Joe if he grabbed it and he said he hadn't seen it and it wasn't his problem. So naturally, I get really anxious and tell my teacher I'm getting on the train back to the last stop. She's really frustrated about it and no one would go with me. Thanks guys. <laughs> so my very, very white, anxious butt is bouncing on my heels waiting to get to the previous stop. As soon as the doors are open, I jump out of the side I was on before frantically searching for my bag. Nowhere to be seen. My heart just drops into my stomach. It didn't have anything super important, but it was my stuff, you know, like pencils and my good eraser, <laughs> the most important thing. So as the train pulls away, and I gotta wait for the next one so I can catch up my classmates, I see a dude on the other platform. He is standing there waiting for the train that should be coming any second, and on his shoulder I see a very familiar black and lime green backpack strap. And I'm like, what are the odds that this dude who has to be like mm, early 40s has like an alien backpack? There's just no way, you know? So I storm over there before he can head to another side of the platform. I am just like part livid and part relieved, you know? So I go up and I say, excuse me, you have my back. Now this guy is maybe a little shorter than me, like 5'6 or 5'7, which gave me some courage because if that dude ran, you could bet your last buck that I would have chased him down. I mean, that's my bad. <laughs> anyway, so the dude looks super nervous and I'm scanning the backpack with all my patches on it, so I know it's mine. So the guy goes, uh, no, this is my bag, I got my stuff in here. So I grab the handle at the top and pulled it off his shoulder and I say in a voice I did not know I had in me. Yeah, what kind of stuff? I set it on the ground and opened it. The guy put two towels in there, nothing more. I took them out, zipped up the bag, and handed him the towels. Flinging the bag over my shoulder, I stare him down in the most take-no-crap way I can, and the dude takes his towels and starts speed walking down the platform. After this confrontation, I release the most relieved, nervous laugh. <laughs> it was just, it was crazy to me, I usually don't do that kind of thing. So naturally, the train comes around and I get on, go down two stops until I find my group. Like three people asked how I got it, and everyone else didn't even notice I came back. <sighs> What a class. But I got my bag, and that confrontation with this guy was like one of the most intense things I've done. So it was kind of awesome to me. <laughs> I'm realizing as I'm recording this that it kind of sounds like an R slash that happened. <laughs> that was not the intention. Uh, this did happen. Not that, I mean, I have a reason why. <laughs> but I don't know. I couldn't think of any other interesting stories for this one since it was so short. Um, I could tell more Halloween stories, but considering that it's February, oh, I know. You know what? I should have told the Valentine's Day story, but I'm going to save that one for later because that one, that one is just, uh, it's gold. It's pure, the purest gold, the purest gold that, you know, I just treasure in my heart. Um, oh God, it's so funny horrible horribly funny i was so upset at the time but it's hilarious now <laughs> so that will be probably one of the next installments after i 
tell off this teacher. Oh my gosh, this teacher of this class <laughs> in the next one. Oh man, fun times. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.